every day I fear for my life. Every day I fear that the final time I'll see my dad is when he drops me off the front steps. Every day I fear of a loud gunshot echoed through my school halls. Every day I fear I'll witness others die in the hands of unnecessary violence. It happens every day, so why should I feel safe? All too often I hear someone die from a shooting. I hear two people dead and I think, well, it's not too many, it's not that bad, but two lives are too many. We're also numb to it now because it happens more often than it should. I'm scared that I'll become another tally mark on the board of people who keep losing their lives to this film that keeps being replayed over and over, even though we know how it will end. How many more tally marks have to be made before some sort of change happens? I don't want to hear thoughts and prayers. I want someone to do something to make me feel like I don't have to scout out hiding spots in the classroom. I want someone to do something to make sure I will never see carbon stain in my friend's blood. I want someone to do something to make sure I don't get shot and killed. Every time a school shooting happens, nobody does anything to stop it from happening again. And the people who do have the power to save lives do nothing but give thoughts and prayers. I'm so scared that I'll die before I graduate high school, before I go to college, before I get married, before I get my first job, before I get to live. This fear of mine gets so bad that at night I have graphic dreams. I hear a gunshot go off. I hide under a desk. In my hiding spot, I have a view into the hallway. I hear screaming and footsteps coming down the hall. I see my friend running down the hall. Then, a gunshot fires, a bullet collides into her back, and she falls to the ground. She screams in pain and makes eye contact with me. I can see the fear in her pale blue eyes as she knows it's the end. And then another gunshot fires, and I'm still looking into her pale blue eyes, but can no longer see me. I snap my eyes open in panic and look at my clock at reach 624. I try to comfort myself knowing it's time to get up for school. I promise myself this will never happen to me. But all the people who have gone through this never thought it would happen to them. So I can't promise that to myself. Just like I can't promise I'll come out of school alive that day.